this one's pretty old, so the art's got a retro feel to it. Guess it's supposed to feel nostalgic, right? The main character's got thick seaweed eyebrows. Hey, what do you think of these old classics? Because of the seaweed? Because uh, uh, the eyebrows look like seaweed? And, and seaweed tastes good? Why are you making me explain it? Oh crap, gotta keep going. Bottom of the ninth, two outs, bases loaded, and a home run will change it all. Boy, heroes in a real pickle. Hey, you better read faster or else I'm gonna spoil it for you. Damn, this is where it ends? I should have borrowed more volumes. It gets even crazier than this if I remember right. Man, the main character's rival? I'll borrow the rest of them so we can pick it up next time. Well, I'm gonna hit the hay. Man, our hero took an underdog baseball team that didn't even have enough players all the way to Nationals. No matter how tough the rival or desperate the situation, the hero always ends up finding a way. Hey, we're technically a team too, aren't we? Means we need a hot shot of our own, right? Oh yeah? Is that not realistic enough for you? But don't you think Sonata-san and Kurijo-senpai have way more personality than any manga character? Either way, kind of blows that real life can't be like how it is in a manga. Anywho, on to the next page. Oh yeah, that's right! Just before the big game, the hero collapses! All after getting everyone together, training like crazy, becoming a hot shot hitter, and carrying the whole team all by himself! Dying to know what happens next, huh? And I'll borrow the rest of the volume from my buddy, Pronto. So, in the last volume, we left off just as the hero passed out from pushing himself too hard. That part where his teammates managed to keep an even score while he's out was such a tearjerker. The game's almost over, and our hero, still weak after a short rest, steps up to the bat. Hey, you totally get it. I honestly thought you wouldn't be into it so much. It's predictable, but it doesn't stop it from being awesome. Man, I forgot how good stories like these are. All right, now that we're at the best part, let's go full speed till the end. Whew, what a ride. The hero totally kicks everyone's asses in the end. And that part where he's so exhausted that he like surges with power, it's like his senses heighten to a whole nother level. Would it be so freaking cool if we could do that? Think so? It's gonna be intense, you know. It's what separates the chumps from the masters. You can't just rely on raw strength. You gotta concentrate, let go of all that tension, then <laughs> your power's all like, womp, 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 and then you unleash it like, <laughs> or maybe you power up like, <laughs> then you let it rip. <laughs> That makes sense? Dude, I think I might actually be able to pull this off. I gotta look into this more. Wanna read it one more time? Just the last part, I mean. And that, my friend, wraps up the series. Being alone's fine, but with gems like this one, it's better to share the fun with a pal. I'll bring you something else next time. We should do this again when you're free. Let's call it a night, shall we? Man, I'm gonna sleep like a log. The only vegetables I ever see at the store are plain old ordinary ones. You know those fancy veggies only people like Kurijo Senpai would eat? If we could grow something like that, we'd make a fortune, don't you think? 
Nope, not even a little. Tried growing some morning glories once, didn't think they'd die so fast. But you're pretty good with your hands, so I'll let you handle it. Sound good? Well, we should probably get to work before we get ahead of ourselves. Mm, this is getting really rough on my back. Yeah, my hands are all caked in dirt. But, for the sake of Junpei's brand name, Luxury Veggies, I gotta keep going. I don't know how I could deal with all this on my own, so let's do this again, okay? Grow up big and strong, my precious, luxurious veggies. Man, all this non-stop watering and weed pulling, not to mention the bugs, it's pretty monotonous. Kind of just feels like busy work. You can be a weird dude sometimes, you know? Honestly, the whole idea of raising something one step at a time feels kind of familiar. Oh well, yeah, it's just like leveling up in a game. Hey, maybe this doesn't suck so bad after all. Gotta say, we've got a long way to go before these veggies put us on easy street. Anyway, I'm the one who asked you to join me in the first place, so I gotta be the one to look after. Da, 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 da. The veggies have leveled up. Whew. Another day of hard, honest work. Let's head back downstairs. <laughs> My thumb's getting a little greener every day, don't you think? For an amateur vegetable patch, it's really coming along. All that back break and work was worth it. Listen. You hear that? That's the sound of our precious little veggies cheering us on. I'm not tripping out or whatever. What I'm trying to say is that they're growing on me. I mean, I get it. Gardening isn't all just fun and games. It's really cool how well they respond if you take care of them right. It's one of those times where you see the fruits of your labor after lots of slow, steady work. I never followed through on anything, and even I pulled it off. That counts for something, right? <laughs> I thought I was the one raising them. Maybe they were raising me all along. Wait, did real, actual wisdom just come out of me? Holy crap, I grew up more than I thought. We owe a lot to our nutritious little veggie babies. Ah, who am I kidding? Our veggie mentors. Well. Whatever we do in life, we can't expect to hit a home run on the first swing. We gotta stay on our toes and wait for the perfect chance to strike. And when that time comes, you knock it out of the park. That's how the real sluggers do it. A valuable lesson straight from our vegetable teachers. Don't go forgetting it, you hear? Maybe I'm finally figuring this whole life thing out, huh? You know, I think I'll write a book. I could call it something like Life's a Vegetable Garden, the Junpei Yuri story. Selling books and vegetables? Ooh, we're gonna be rolling in dough. Man, am I a genius or what? All right, enough dreaming. Let's get a little bit more work done. We did a heck of a job. See you later, my darling veggies. I'll be back again when I'm free. Well, let's call it a night. Hit me up again when you have some time. 